Hello everyone, you are welcome to this lesson. In this tutorial, we are going to solve this question I have here on the screen. The question says, a force of 800 Newton is exerted on a boat as shown in the figure below. Determine the horizontal and then vertical components of the force. So let's look at how we are going to solve this question. So let me draw the free body diagram for this figure here okay, let's take that to be point a okay that's our point a all right so let me draw the force vector okay okay so that should represent the 800 newtons force okay so this is 800 newtons okay and then let me draw the components of this force also so let this let this be the x component and then let this be the y component okay so let's name this as fx and then let's name this as fy okay and then this is my x axis and then this is my y axis okay so we have this angle to be 35 degrees so let's look at how you are going to find the component of this force here. Okay, so to find the component, we can take cosine and then sine of the 35 degrees angle that we have here. Okay, so taking cosine of the 35 degrees, that will be equal to the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. Okay, so the adjacent side will be fx, and then we know the hypotenuse to be 800. Okay. But in this case, you see that the x component will be pointing the negative x axis direction. So you have what you have to negate this value. Okay, so at the end, you're going to have fx to be equal to minus 800 multiplying cosine of what 35 degrees. Okay, this is what you are going to have. So let's simplify this and see what you are going to get for fx. So you are going to have minus 800 multiplying cosine of what 35 degrees then that will give us a value of minus 655.32 newtons okay so that's the value for the x component okay let's do the same for the y component for the y component you're going to have sine of the 35 degrees angle and then that will be equal to the opposite side which is fy over the hypotenuse which is 800 so at the end you're going to have fy to be equal to 800 multiplying sine of what the 35 degrees angle so let's see what you're going to get for fy 800 okay multiplying sine of 35 will give us a value of 458.86 newton so that'll be the value for the vertical component but you see that this value is positive because the vertical component of this force will be pointing the positive y as its direction okay so let's take note of that all right, so let's look at another way to solve this question. Okay, so you see that with this method, we you were able to determine or detect visually that the x component is going to be negative and then the y component will be what's positive. Okay, if you don't want to determine it that way, then you can use this method that I'm about to teach you. Okay, so if you don't want to use this approach, to find the signs of the component all you you will have to do is to find the value of what this angle that we have here let's name it as theta okay if you find the value of this angle here then you come and use it in place of what the 35 degrees that we used for the first approach okay so let's find the value of theta that's how the angles on the straight line will give us 180 so you have 35 degrees plus the theta to be equal to what 180 right so at the end you're going to have theta to be equal to 180 degrees minus 35 degrees okay so let's find the value for theta 180 minus the 35 will give us a value of 145 degrees okay so you're going to use this value in place of what the 35 degrees okay but when you are doing this you don't have to bring the negative sign here okay the answer is going to tell you whether you have to bring a negative there or a positive value so let's just do the substitution straightforward okay so in this case 
I'm going to have fx to be equal to 800 multiplying cosine of what? 145 degrees. So you see that in this case, I didn't bring the negative sign here, okay? Because with this method, that will not be needed, okay? The answer will just give us the signs at the end. So let's look at what you are going to get. So we have 800 multiplying cosine of 145 degrees. That gives us a value of minus 655.32 newtons, okay? Just like what you got here, okay? Just that in this case, you didn't have to bring the negative sign again. So let's look at the y component also. Fy will be equal to 800 multiplying sine of what? 145 degrees. Let's see what you are going to get for this value also. 800 multiplying sine of 145. That gives us a value of 458.86 newtons. Okay, which is the same as what? This value that we got here. Okay, so that's one way to go about this problem also. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please kindly like the video and subscribe to the channel if this is your first time watching my videos. Thank you.